Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Dusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play your PlayStation 5 remotely uh, on mobile devices. So your iPhone, your Android device, your iPad. So the first thing that you want to do is over on the mobile device, you want to download the app that is called PS Remote Play. Uh, it looks like a little PlayStation controller with two dots and a blue background. Go ahead and download the PS Remote Play app like you see here and go ahead and open that app up. Next, I want you to turn on your PlayStation 5. Make sure that it is connected to the internet. There's one thing that we have to do over on the PS5 side of things to make sure that this works. All right, make sure you're logged in and you have everything ready to go on the PS5. Go over to your settings, which is the gear icon in the upper right hand corner, or you can just go to settings if you have it kind of as a tile on your PS5. And once we're under settings, we want to go down to where we see system and you'll see a little cube there. And then over on system, you want to go down to where you see remote play. Now, by default, the remote play option is for some reason disabled. Uh, so we want to go over here, go to remote play and then go ahead and select the enable remote play. Make sure that is over and ticked off to the right and not the left. And then once we've done that, we now want to go ahead and get out of that and navigate back over to our mobile device where we want to play uh, the PS5 on. So we're going to go ahead and navigate back over to my phone. And then when you open the app and if both devices are connected to the same network, which they should be, uh, you should see which do you want to connect to PS5, PS4, because you can do both. We are doing a PS5 tutorial today, so we're going to select the PlayStation 5. It says before connecting to your PS5, make sure it is enabled, which is what we just did, and it's telling you exactly how to do that now on the screen. Uh, and now it will search for connections. It is searching via internet, so make sure again that it is connected to the same network as the console. It then will ask you, Remote Play would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. Is that okay? Go ahead and click or tap OK on your device. All right. And then once it is connected and linked up, now as you can see, uh, we have the PlayStation 5 here, uh, the, the screen at the top, and then we have the uh, what they call their tap controller here, whatever you want to call it. But if you connect a controller to your mobile device, you'll be able to play on your phone just like it would be as, as is your PlayStation 5. So what we're going to want to do now is to go over to Bluetooth settings on our mobile device. So go ahead and go to Bluetooth settings. And then under Bluetooth settings, you're going to want to connect your PlayStation controller. Now, for some reason, um, the, uh, the PlayStation um, Dual Sense controller, which is the one that came with the PS5, is not playing well with the newest iOS uh, update, but they're saying that with a new update coming out soon that it shouldn't be a problem. So basically what you're going to want to do is grab your DualShock controller from your PlayStation 4 if you have it, uh, or just wait for the update if that's something that you want to do. But when this does work, uh, you will press the share and the PS button in the middle of the new DualSense controller, and you will see it come up under other devices. Currently right now, uh, due to this update issue, it just does not work. Uh, but if you hold both of these at the same time, uh, you will then see the light blink rapidly in the middle of the, the controller, and that puts it in pairing mode. And then if you open up your Bluetooth settings, you should be able to find it there under other devices, select it, and you should be good to go. As you can see, I'm having no problem at all connecting the DualShock 4 controller, so go ahead and tap that option there under other devices. Now you can see the DualShock 4 is connected. And now if we hop back over to the Remote Play app, you can see here that I now can basically command the PlayStation 5 directly here on my mobile device as if I was actually playing it on my PlayStation 5. So I'm now opening up uh, Spider-Man, the new Miles Morales. Uh, and as you can see here, this is happening all on my mobile device as well as over on my PlayStation 5. Now, uh, there's a lot of questions about this. What are some things that you can do to, um, you know, can you do it at a different house or a different location? Uh, as long as the device is connected to internet and it can mirror, then yes, it will work. There are some kind of in-betweens that, that are kind of funky, uh, but basically this is great for people who are wanting to play in another room. Uh, I have tested this all the way downstairs. My wireless router and my PlayStation 5 is upstairs. Uh, and as you can see right now, um, the, 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 you know, it's mirroring exactly what's happening on my PlayStation 5. So as you can see here, I'm jumping into um, the, the actual game that, that's playing on the PS5. And as you can see here, everything that's happening on the PS5 is being mirrored. 
And as you can see here, I'm just swinging around the city here uh, with Miles Morales here. It looks really good, especially on the new iPhone 12. Uh, newer devices are going to look better, obviously, because their displays are just natively better. Uh, as far as lag and input, now, when I did take this downstairs, I did, you know, in, incur some lag uh, as far as that goes. So I probably wouldn't be playing any competitive shooters this way. But if you're, like, getting into single-player games and you're wanting to do something like, like this game here, the, the, the new Spider-Man game, uh, or I've been playing some Cyberpunk uh, this way as well, uh, currently and it works very very well um, and as you can see here uh, I'm not getting any lag whatsoever like whenever I, I I push the button here on the controller I'm doing exactly what I want to do um, and so it's it's not a problem at all now what are some settings that that we can have here so I'm gonna go ahead and, and pause out of this here uh, as far as settings if we tap on the mobile device here you can see the virtual controller comes up we can mute and unmute in the lower right hand corner we can select the button there uh, if we tap this here we can actually go to settings here and you can see we have orientation do you want it to be portrait uh, landscape obviously you want it to be full screen landscape uh, uh, you don't want it to be portrait. Uh, do you want to always show the controller? You can uncheck or check that. I don't want it to always show. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that there. And then you can even disconnect from the, uh, the, the the system and the console itself. Now, if you want to basically close out of this, what you'll do is you'll just basically hit uh, this here and bring up the, the game. And then what you would do is just close out of the app uh, entirely on the mobile device and it will close the the game and the app down on the PlayStation 5 so that's how you do remote play on the PlayStation 5 I will do another tutorial showing you how to do remote play on the Xbox Series X and S very soon thank you guys as always for watching my videos if you have any questions put those in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video